Welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 254. And I've got a bit of things to share with you today uh, as far as my finished objects go. The first two, uh, well, one of them I can't show you at all because it sold. I was, I was crocheting a dark blue dishcloth uh, over at Kristen's open house last Saturday and I finished it. I put it together as a group of three and somebody bought it before I could take a picture. So it was a navy blue dishcloth. But I also, while I was there, finished a yellow one. So I'm going to show you that one. And then also this week, I had fun with leftover yarn. Um, because I thought, well, I don't want to go back and forth and have stripes. So I played with some granny squares. So we have this one. And these are dishcloths as well. They're the same yarn. Uh, they're 100% cotton. And I held them double because the yarn was thinner than your typical worsted weight. It was more of a fingering to sock weight. So I held it double. So this one is navy blue and kind of a salmon color. There you can see it. And then I have this one. Like I said, this was using up leftover yarn. And this one kind of reminds me of like an old fashioned Afghan, you know, the ones I'm thinking of that are, they work like a cream color and there was like a three dimensional flower in the middle. That's kind of what this reminds me of. And then there's my favorite one. And if nobody buys it at the craft show in a couple weeks, it's staying with me because I liked it. And it is a combination of yellow. This is, well, of course, yellow. And this is the navy blue. And this is a green. There you can see it. And then a light blue. And I held them with the yellow. So I have to say, this is my favorite one out of all of them that I made. I'm half tempted not to even take it to the show just to keep it for me because, yeah, I like it. Um, so that is the end of the dishcloths. I only had a little teeny bit of yarn left. I'm cheap. What can I say? I had to do something with the leftover yarn because I have a real hard time throwing away little bits of yarn unless there's absolutely nothing else I can do with them. So I made this. And you may be going, what in the world is that? This is going to stay with me and it's going to be a makeup remover. Um, so if I run across some more, I know I've got some other like little bits and pieces of, of cotton around from previous dishcloths that I've made. Um, I might make some more of these. I'm gonna test this one out tonight and see how well it works. And go from there but I'm thinking it, it would be nice um, as a face cloth, um, you know, use on my face because we have white washcloths and white towels that don't look so white anymore because they, they get my makeup on them. So um, yeah, I might do that. So we'll experiment. I'll have to let you know how that goes. So those are my finished objects. And I wanted to send you, show you guys another picture too. If you remember last week, I, wore, I finished that begonia swirl shawl. Well, I wore it to church and it got lots of oohs and ahs. I actually had somebody ask, what would I charge to make one? Well, I looked on Etsy. Those things are selling for close to $100. I mean, the yarn alone and the one that I made was about $25 in yarn alone because it did have some wool content to it. Um, but anyway, I, um, Yoka sent me a picture. She made that same shawl in different colors about five years ago. And it just happened to show up on her, her memories page for Facebook. So I'm going to insert a picture so you can see what her begonia swirl shawl looked like. Now we're on to my works in progress. Well, I started a new crochet project. I'm do I've never participated in a crochet along before, but I saw this one shawl on Facebook and I was like, oh, that is really, really pretty. So I decided let's go over and explore this a little bit. So the channel that is doing this uh, crochet along, I think there's two channels, but the one I've been watching is J Hook Crochet. And the 
the shawl is called the Flower Valley Shawl. Now, I have worked two weeks worth. It just started, so if you're interested, go over to her channel because it just started October 4th, and you get an entry for each week that you show, you know, whatever the progress was you were supposed to make that week. So I've already submitted my first week, um, and then I, I'm working ahead a little bit because I was having fun with it. Um, and they said that that's fine to do, that you can work ahead a little bit, but you just can't submit the entries per week, except for on the week it's, it's supposed to be done. So first off, I'm going to insert a picture of the shawl so you can see what it looks like. And now I'll show you what mine looks like. Now the yarn I am using for this is a yarn from the company called Bramont. This used to be sold through Craftsy, I believe. And it was Camino Alpaca. I don't know if Craftsy now sells it or not. Um, I have not looked, but it is like 100% alpaca. It is super, super soft and it's in autumn colors. Um, I did not have any gradient yarn in the amounts in the in the weight and everything that was needed um, but then I remembered I had this yarn and I was like I'll create my own gradient so here we go so far the orange is the current week and then the green is week number two right now it looks like I'm crocheting a carrot or a pumpkin but I'm not um, the reason I went with these two colors first is I have different shades of autumn colors, but a lot of them I have two skeins worth of, which I know when I get to the wider portion of the shawl as it gets bigger, I'm gonna need more yarn. But this particular green and this particular orange, I only had one skein of each. So I thought we'll use them in the beginning of the shawl when I know I'll have enough for that. So um, yeah, so this is where I am at so far. So there is where I'm at so far. And this is row 22 that I am up to. The shawl itself only has 40 rows, but then it has a, a two different options for a border. Um, at least I think that's what it is, is two different options. So um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I've never done a crochet along before, so I'm having fun. And this is done with a fingering weight yarn and you are using a, in my case, I'm using a 3.75 millimeter, which is an F. So, um, yeah, there you can see it right there. And I think you could use a three point, I think they said a 3.5 to a 3.75. I only could find my 3.75, so that's the one I'm using. Um, yeah, so I'm having fun with that. That's my new crochet project. And like I said, I, I finished the first week and just kept on going because I was having fun. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, the other project is the test knit that I am doing for the Knitting Expat podcast. And that is the Snuggly Wuggly Shawl. I'm looking through the pattern right now to be able to show you the picture. And there is the picture of what her shawl looked like. And you can see the center has like a braided uh, cabled section in here. So now let me show you, I've gotten a lot done on this this week. I've gone through a couple of colors. Last week, I hold this the right side up. Okay, this is, this is the top. And then, I got into the marled section. You can see my stitch marker where I was last week. I went all the way through the speckled section. There you can see the cabling. And now I'm into the purple. And if you look at this yarn, you can see it has the blue and it has the purple. So now I'm in to the marled colors where you are taking some of this yarn and a purple and putting it together. And the purple, this is uh, from Hobium yarn. And then 
this knit crate yarn and it was uh, the creator or helper with the picking of the colors and stuff was Creative Grandma, which is a crochet channel. So that's where I got those and that's, this is what they look like together. So that is what I have been working on this week. Now, before we do show and tell, um, show and tell is a little different this week. Um, many of you know um, one of our viewers, um, she's also very popular over on Facebook, uh, Sylvia Allen passed away this week. And so show and tell is dedicated to her and there's some more details uh, in the show and tell itself. And I was able to, um, find some pictures of some of her projects she's done recently and I put those at the end so you can see the type of things that she liked to make.
Now in my acquisitions, uh, I have Knit Crate you saw. If you watched Wednesday's video, if you missed it, you can click the link right over here. Uh, but in Wednesday's video, I um, showed you what I was taking or what I had taken to the craft. Well, at that time when I filmed it, I had not had the craft fair yet. So I showed you what I was taking and what I was asking price-wise for it. And then at the end of the segment, I showed you, um, I told you how well I did and what tended to sell. And so um, that was Wednesday's video. But at the end of that video, I also posted um, some yarn I got from Knit Crate. Uh, I had bought this yarn. This one's the crazy story where I bought the yarn and got it in my monthly subscription box back in June. And by the time I saw that same brand of knit crate yarn on sale again i forgot what color i bought and so i bought another color that didn't go with the first color and so then i had two odd skeins of yarn one rust color and one purple colored and didn't quite know what to do with them and so i was able to they had a really good sale i was able to get two more skeins of each uh, because the purple one in particular um, was such a strange color purple, we'll just call it eggplant. Uh, it didn't go with any purple yarns I have upstairs. And now the rust color yarn I could use with, I could have put with other things, but um, I did buy two more skeins of that so that I had um, four skeins of each. So I can make something substantial because all together now I will have a thousand yards of each of those colors. So if you missed that video to see what I got, um, like I said, you can click right over there and check it out. Now, if you remember a while back, I was reading this book, One for the Hooks. This is Betty Hechtman. Uh, she's my favorite Arth Arthur. She's my favorite author. Uh, she writes a crochet series, which is this one. This is the Crochet Mysteries. She also writes a knitting one that is Yarn Retreat Mysteries. Um, but I like her hers the best because the characters are just hysterical. So um, yes, I just finished it the other day. It was really, really good. I was totally wrong in who I thought the, the person who murdered the person was. So uh, yeah, totally took me by surprise, um, but it was funny and the characters in it are funny, um, especially Adele. Adele is the uh, main character's coworker who is a little bit of a crochet fanatic. She thinks knitters are evil and she wants to always hide the knitting needles in the yarn section of the bookstore. She also tends to dress very elaborately in crochet and she had her, she had an Instagram channel where she was calling herself the Adele and she was photographing everything and then her fans kind of like turn on her and start ripping all her, her crochet stuff off of her outfit. So they have a souvenir from the Adele. It was hysterical. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So that that is the book that I have currently finished. Um, and so I have another book. It's not knitting or crochet related. Uh, it's a new series to me. So I'm going to start reading it and I'll let you know whether it's worth checking out or not. Um, so that's what I'm reading right now. Now, for those of you who always wonder, if you hear clicking, that is Cricut. Uh, so uh, some of you say, we miss Cricut if we don't see her in the in the uh, video. So I'm gonna stick a clip in. She had to have some mommy time earlier this week. That was before she had a bath. Once she had a bath, she stayed away from mommy for a few days because, you know, we don't like to smell good and, and everything. We've worked so hard to smell bad. So anyway, she's she's wandering around the kitchen. So if you hear clicking, that's that's the cricket running around. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so Wednesday's video this week uh, is going to be an Ask Me Anything. So if you have a question that you wanna ask, um, you can ask away. Just ask down in the comments. Uh, don't put the questions over on, you can put the questions over on Facebook. Um, or you could put them down below in the comments. Don't put them on Instagram. I'm still bumbling my way through that. Um, I'm getting better. I've figured out how to post things and I figured out how to reply to things, but I don't always remember to find where the questions to everything. Like, yeah, I'm still, I am still fiddling my way through Instagram. So play it on the safe side. Don't put questions there. Stick them down in the comments or over in Facebook if you, if you want me to actually read them. So that will be Wednesday's video this week. 
I do have some updates as far as my bariatric uh, journey goes. I'm not going to put a whole video out because it's just a little, little teeny bit of good news. And that is that my insurance company has already approved my uh, surgery. So that went through really, really quick because it was submitted like September 22nd and it had to go through like an approval group which puts the whole package and all the medical stuff together and then sends it to the insurance company. It's already been, that's taken care of and they said that can take seven to 10 days. They got that all put together, send it to my insurance company, the insurance has already improved it. So that's exciting. So we're coming down the home stretch. So uh, yeah, my next steps that I have to do, I have to go in and sign some consent forms and I have to take a one and a half hour class. I'm not sure on what. I'm assuming it's probably pre and post op care and what I need to do there. Um, so that's coming up, but I don't have dates for that. When I do, I'll fill you guys in and keep you posted on what's going on. Now I wanted to do something a little different before I get to the come and get it section today. And that is I wanted to give some shout outs to some people that I know have YouTube channels, okay? Um, I already told you about J Hook Crochet uh, to go check her out. She is a larger podcast. Um, so, but yeah, check her out. But we also have some other viewers that also have YouTube channels. Um, and there's some of you that I know probably do that I just don't know about, but I'm going to share these. Uh, one is called Harji Creations. Now she is a knitting show, a knitting video series. And she does a lot of tutorials um, on different pretty knitting stitches. So um, yeah, I've watched some of them and they're very well done. She, she does have subtitles so that you can see what she's saying. And um, yeah, she does some really pretty work. And so go check her out. That is Harji Creations. And then we have Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. And all of you know Spring, she's been on this channel for, for quite a few years in comments and, and we talk back and forth. So um, yeah, she's been doing a lot of tutorials. She's been putting a lot of videos out lately. So go over and check out her channel. And then Cindy Suttles, you saw her, um, one of her projects in the show and tell, she has Cindy Hart's Crochet. So she has a channel as well. And you also saw in Show and Tell D Thompson, who is uh, Granny D, is what she goes by a lot of times, which is her channel is Knit Pearl and Squirrel. And so, uh, yeah, put her, you know, go over and check out her channel too. She's a lot of fun. And so those are four podcasters that I know of that also watch the channel here. So if you have a YouTube channel and you, you uh, wanna let me know, I always like to go check out your channels and and uh, I will gladly give you a shout out because you know all of us small podcasters got to stick together and it, it helps if we if you all bring atten bring to our attention some of your channels so we can all go check them out and be supportive of each other so that is a little shout out this week so now it's time for So in our come and get it section, did you know that today, Saturday, is National I Love Yarn Day? Who knew? I didn't even know there was such a thing, but apparently there is. So there is a sale running at Knit Picks and We Crochet, which are the same company. It's just We Crochet is the more is crochet oriented and Knit Picks is more knit oriented, uh, but they sell the same yarn, they're sister companies. So um, you can click either of the links down below it'll take you to the same place they are running until October 11th they are running 20% off of all of their yarn yeah all of their yarn you do need to use a coupon code I love yarn in honor of national I love yarn day so um, yeah that is over at knit picks and then also check out love crafts because love crafts run sales all the time. Uh, the links I have down below, I have one for the US and I also have one for uh, Europe because they, the pricing, you know, you're going to see in euros or you're going to see it in dollars. So I set it up so it's easy to see. Um, and you also, if you're in the US and you order through the US link, you get the US shipping rather than shipping from the UK. You have to pay to get it over here. So 
it's a little bit cheaper um, but they run sales all the time and if you click through that link it takes you right to their opening page and just keep scrolling down you can find all the different sales they always have something going on so that is love crafts and there's a fly in here Ugh. anyway I thought at first it was something floating through my eyes You're like an eye floater I've got one of those I thought that's what it was and then I realized it was a little too big for that yes flies on the loose Ugh. anyway I'll zap him later don't worry so that is what I know of for sales right now um, I know that that lion brand runs has run some sales and they just ended one so I know there's probably another one getting ready to start so always be watching for those videos that are yellow with black letters because those are the little yarn sales that pop up that I try to keep you guys informed about and uh, yes yeah, so I just call me your little enabler so yeah, that's it for this week. I will see you again on Wednesday. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later. Bye everybody.